lastly, we discussed how to determine the vertex, the focus, the directrix, and the axis of symmetry of a parabola given the equation. And today naman, uh, may certain condition ng parabola, and all we need to do is to find its standard equation. So I have uh, five examples para mas landong maintindihan. So let us start. So, number one, we have vertex 1, negative 9, focus negative 3, negative 9. So, before having the solution, I would like to emphasize this to you that in getting the standard equation of a parabola, you should learn how to analyze. Then, after analyzing, dapat alam mong kunin ang value ng C at alam mo kung ano ang opening ng parabola. So, if you're going to analyze... May dalawang points tayo, vertex focus. So, sa dalawang points, walang changes na nangyari sa y, sa x lang. So, if you're going to analyze, kung x lang ang may changes, so, ang parabola, pwedeng maging left or right. Kasi sa x lang ang may changes. Samantala kung y naman ang may changes, tandaan nyo, um, it can be upward or downward. Ha? Basta ang x ang may changes, given si vertex tapos si focus, uh, right or left? So, my question is, right ba siya or left? So, let us analyze. So, kung ang vertex mo is 1, negative 9. So, if you could recall ang um, Cartesian plane, pagpapuntang uh, left sa x values, pagpapuntang left, di ba, liliit ang value niya. Samantalang kung sa y values naman, pagbababa, liliit din. Ha? Tandaan niya yan. So, bali sa negative 3, so, negative 3 is less than 1. So, obviously, papunta siya dito. So, ang focus mo is negative 3 dito banda. Then, alam mo, ang magiging parabola mo is, is papuntang kaliwa or left. Right? Kasi all the time, si focus na sa loob ng parabola. So, may idea ka na ng equation mo, if you could recall, pag left or right, y ang naka-squared, then, pag left, negative 4C, then X minus H. So, may idea ka na. Then, in addition, paano kunin si C? May dalawang points tayo. So, if you could recall, the value of C is from vertex to focus or from vertex to direct tracks. So, Press lang yun. Then, kung mga dalawang points, so you can use the distance formula. So, Ang distance formula, equate ko sa C kasi C ang values nito or ang distance, di ba? So, anong distance formula? X sub 1 minus, uh, plus X sub 2 squared plus ano, no, no, plus, minus pala dito then plus y, y sub 1 minus Y sub 2 squared then ito um, 1 minus negative 3 squared so, obviously, magiging 0 ito. Okay, negative 9 minus negative 9. So, you see, is, this is 1 plus 3, 4 squared, square root of 16. So, you see, is 4. So, may value ka na ng C, tapos may vertex ka na. So, makukuha mo na C, standard equation. So, substitute the value. So, Y minus, ano yung K dito? ba ang 9? From negative, magiging positive siya. Diba? Squared equals to negative 4 times C. Then, X minus 1. By the way, you can, in getting the distance, pwede mo isubtract directly si negative 3 sa 1. Negative 3 minus 1, the answer is negative 4. Or, 1 minus negative 3, the answer is 4. Wala namang, do not be confused between the sign, wala namang distance na negative, diba? So, alam mo na ang value ng C is 4. So, moving on. So, your answer will be y plus 9 squared equals to negative 16 times x minus 1. This would be your answer. So, number 2, vertex negative a3, directrix x is negative 10.5. So, obviously, directrix mo is vertical, diba? Vertical siya kasi nasa X. So, ito yung magiging directrix mo. Then, kung vertical, if you could recall the definition, kung vertical yung directrix, so it's either left or right ang parabola mo, opening to the left or to the right. Since ito, dito banda si 
negative 10.5. Tapos yung vertex mo is negative 8. Saan banda si kung dito si negative 10.5? Ito yung mga x value. So, dito si 10 point, negative 10.5. Saan banda si negative 8? Dito, left, or right? So, obvious naman dito sa right. So, bali, dito banda si uh, vertex. So, ang opening ng parabola mo is to the right. So, may idea ka na na pag right or left, ang naka-squared is y. So, y minus k squared equals to since to the right siya, so positive 4c then x minus h. So, paano kunin ang value ng c? Paano kunin ang value ng c? So, galing vertex na negative 8 tapos 3. So, ano ang distance nito? Ito lang distance nito. Ito yung c mo. Kasi vertex to the right direct. So, anong distance ito? Yung may subtract directly. Negative 8 minus negative 10.5. So, ano ang value niyan? Um, 2.5. Or kahit balik ta rin mo, still negative 2.5. Same lang. Basta ang distance, positive all the time. So, so, substitute the values. So, y, ito yung negative 3 squared equals to 4 times 2.5. X minus, oh no, no, magiging plus 8 na siya. So, y minus 3 squared equals to, this is 10. X plus 8. So, this would be your answer. Number 3, we have FOCO 711, the x equals 1. Pag ang retrex mo is x, so may idea ka na na vertical siya. Then pag vertical, ang retrex, may idea ka na rin na it opens right or left. So, kung dito yung um, point mo, x equals 1. So, ang focus mo, 711, so obvious naman dito naman sa right, di ba? So, 7, 11, ito yung focus mo. Then, alam mo na rin na ang, ang parabola mo, it opens to the right. Kasi nasa loob all the time si focus, then sa lambas si the retracts. Then, alam mo na rin ang standard form equation niya, which is y minus k squared. Then, positive siya, 4c kasi to the right, then x minus h. Again, pag opens opening to the right or left, ang y part na sa squared. Then, pa, anong kulang? So, obvious naman si vertex. Ano ang, ang point ng vertex dito? So, as, uh, if you could recall, ang vertex is the midpoint between the directrix and the focus or ang gitna. Diba? So, paano pagkuha ng gitna dito? From 1 to 7. So, get the midpoint. So, i-add mo lang ang 1 plus 7 divided by 2. So, makakuha ka na ng 4. So, bali ang ang, ang point or ang coordinate ng vertex mo is 4 standby si 11. So, may vertex ka na tapos may standard equation ka na. So, ang kulang is ang value ng C. Paano kunin ang value ng C? Pwedeng isubtract directly si 4 minus 1 equals to 3. Or si 7 minus 4 equals to 3. Or, you may use these two points, um, same sa number 1, gagamit ka ng distance formula. Check natin kung 3 bang answer. So, distance formula. So, x sub 1 minus x sub 2 squared plus y sub 1 minus y sub 2 squared. Then, x sub 1 mo is, ito, x sub 1, 4 minus 7. Itong dalawang points na ito, ha? Squared. Then, obviously, magiging 0 ito kasi 11 minus 11. So, 4 minus 7 is negative 3 squared mo, 9. So, obviously naman, the answer is C. Oh, 3 rather. Your C is 3. Then, my C ka na. Subject the uh, value. So, vertex ha. Hindi ito vertex. Huwag kayong maguluhan. So, ito, magiging 11 squared equals to 4 times 3, 12 in x, minus 4. Ito yung answer mo. So, number 4, focus 711, the retrex y equals to 4. So, obviously, it is quite the same with number 3. So, iba lang yung the retrex. So, pag ang the retrex mo y, so, may idea ka na na ito ay horizontal. O pahiga. Then, pag pahiga ang the retrex, 
So, it's either upward or downward ang parabola mo. So, kung pahiga sa directrix, ito yung directrix mo. So, up, upward or downward. Since ang focus mo 7-11, so kung dito sa x, uh, so y equals to 4, itong point na to. So, obviously naman, ang parabola mo is upward. So, dito banda si 7-11. So, same lang ang process sa number 3. Paano kunin si vertex? Kunin mo lang ang, mid, uh, ang midpoint between sa y, sa y ito, kasi mga y values ito. So, between 11 and 4. So, i-plus mo lang sa si 11 and 4 divided by 2. This is 15 divided by 2. 7.5. So, bali ang values or ang point ng vertex mo is stand by si 7 kasi sa y values tayo mag-change. 7 and 7.5. Ito yung vertex mo. Since opening to the uh, above or uh, upward siya, so, x ang naka-squared equals to pag up upward, positive siya, 4c, then y minus k. So, Ano ang value ng C? So, um, 7.5, ito, 7.5 minus 4 or 11 minus 7.5. So, what is the difference? 7.5, 7.5 minus 4 is the same with 11 minus 7.5. So, obviously, your answer is 3.5. Ito yung answer mo. Then, um, lastly, Alam mo na ang value ng C, alam mo na ang vertex, so you may substitute directly. So, X, so, minus 7 squared equals to 4 times 3.5, and Y minus 7.5. So, your answer is X minus 7 squared equals, this is um, 14, Y minus 7.5. So, this would be your answer. So, number 5, we have vertex negative 5, negative 7, vertical axis of symmetry to the point 711. So, it is quite different sa mga naunang example natin. So, if you could recall the definition, pag ang axis mo of symmetry is vertical, vertical, may idea ka na, na ang parabola mo, it opens upward or downward. So, itong point na to is one of the points ng parabola. So, given sa vertex. So, kung ito si vertex, let us analyze. Ito yung Cartesian plane mo. So, ang vertex mo is from negative-negative. So, quadrant 3, right? So, ito yung vertex mo. So, ito yung point ng parabola. So, quadrant 1, positive to positive. So, pag dito yung point ng parabola, so, ito yung vertex. So, may idea ka na na upward siya. So, it, bali ito, magiging itsura niya. Then, kung upward ang parabola, so, ang equation mo is x ang naka-squared. Positive kasi upward, 4C, then Y minus K. Then, ano ang value ng C? Paano kunin ang value ng C? So, given si vertex, given ang um, one point ng parabola, so, substitute mo lang o i-plug mo lang sa equation. So, uh, X, sulat ko lang sa isa. So, X plus, magiging plus 5 squared, then 4, C, ang target natin kunin ang value ng C, so Y magiging plus 7. So, X mo, ito yung magiging X mo, so 7 plus 5 squared equals to 4 C. Then, uh, na, this is 11, 11 plus 7. So, this is 12 squared equals to 4 C. This is 18. So, this is 144. This is uh, 4 times 18 is 72C. So, divide both sides by 72. So, obviously, your C is 2. So, my value ka na ng C. So, um, this, my value ka na ng vertex. So, substitute directly. So, makukuha mo, answer mo na. X plus 5 squared equals to 4 times 2. So, 8, then y plus 7. So, this would be your answer. Um, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching. Keep learning and keep aiming high.